is this be a master of the system. That's the first thing. The second thing is what I'm going to teach you guys tonight. But I'm going to teach you tonight that less than 1% of people know or understand. And if you can grasp what I'm going to teach you tonight, not only can you have tremendous success in ACN, not only can you have tremendous success in your life, you could go SVP, you could become a circle of champions because when I combine that with the system, I've been a circle of champions member now for 11 straight years a senior vice president. My life is a complete blessing. I wish my life, the quality of the life that I have on, on everybody. And I'm so passionate about it. That's why, you know, like Patrick and Michael Mazur, they don't have to work anymore. You know, we don't have to work anymore. We have an incredible life. We don't have to be doing these calls and training people, but now we have a passion to give this back. We've got a passion to give this to other people to change their life. And so tonight I'm hoping this can make an impact for you and to change your life, what I'm gonna share with you, okay? So I want you to guys to take some notes, pay attention to what I'm gonna give you for the next few minutes, because this can literally change your life. Now, this is not easy to understand, yet it's simple to get. So I'll repeat that again. It's not easy to understand, but simple to get when you get it. You're like, what are you talking about? Well, you'll understand in a minute. So, and I'm gonna need your participation. So, uh, Melissa, uh, can they like write comments in there and will I be able to see their comments if they're writing stuff? Now they can. Okay, great. Thanks, Melissa. Appreciate it. All right. So this is good. So when I ask you guys for some feedback, guys, I'll appreciate some feedback to get with everybody. Okay. So first of all, I have a question for you. Okay. And I want you to write in the message box. Okay. What are we? What are we called? Who are we? What are we? Like if some, if some alien from outer space came down, and by the way, there's apparently a lot of aliens that are on this planet. Who knew? Who knew there's a lot of aliens on this planet, right? <laughs> We'd lost them now, okay? So if an alien came down and said, who are we? Who are we? So Christina said, human, close. Oh, who had, Geraldo got it a human being. Very good. We're human beings, right? So let's look at that word, human being. What the heck is a being? What's a being? Who can tell me what is a being? Guess what you are. You've been a being your whole life. You were born a being. You're a being. You're going to die a being. What the heck's a being? Who can tell me what a being is? Does anybody know what a being is? Because by the way, almost no one knows what a being is, but it's who you are. It's like, imagine you're a car and somebody says, you're a car. What's a car? Well, you've been a car your whole life. I don't know what a car is. I have no idea. You're a being, right? So I'm going to talk to you about tonight. What is a human being? How you're designed to achieve results and how most people don't, do it, don't know their own design. So imagine that you're out there trying to create results, okay? You're out there trying to create results and you, what if you were doing it backwards your whole life? How would you feel? You wouldn't be very happy, would you? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go over what it is. So I'm gonna actually share my screen. I'm gonna put up a whiteboard. Uh, ooh, I can't put up a whiteboard. Let's see if I can do this. Melissa, can you... Uh, do you need me to, maybe I can write on my own screen? Want me to do that? I don't think our settings are with whiteboards. Okay, so let me bring up, let me put my own whiteboard on here so I can draw some stuff. Okay, I'll do it from my own screen. Okay, perfect. Let me do here. New board. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is you tell me guys when you can see my the whiteboard. Okay, one second. There we go. All right, can you guys see this whiteboard? All right, very good. Perfect. Okay, so let me, I'm going to draw you something, okay? So let's talk about what it, what we want to talk about, which is, I'm going to draw this here, human. And by the way, guys, I apologize. I'm writing straight, so my writing will not be very neat. I will do my best. Okay, human being. So many of you have seen something, and I'm going to start with this. I've seen this in books, on TV, 
people talking about it, but 99.9% .9 of people actually have no idea what this means or how it works. It's called be, do, have. These are, these are called the three domains of humanity. The three domains of humanity, be, do, have, okay? And what this says is whoever you're being will give you the actions that you take, will give you the results that you have, okay? So be, do, have. Now, whether you're conscious to it or not, it doesn't matter. This is how the universe works. This is how human beings work. Uh, I don't know about other planets. I don't know those worlds. I have not communicated with those people yet, maybe soon. <laughs> but in this world, this is how it works, okay? The problem is most human beings don't understand what this means. And most human beings do things backwards. What do I mean by that? So if you're living life going in this direction, life is easy and effortless. And whatever you want to have, you can have in your life. You can accomplish whatever you have. It's where you have breakthrough results. All those things happen. The problem is most people live life this way where nothing happens and they're stuck in the same old rut over and over and over again. For some of you that have been in ACN for a while and your results aren't going anywhere, that's probably why because you're going against the grain of the universe, how the universe is designed versus going with the universe the way it was supposed to be designed. So let's talk about what this means, okay? See, most people live their life like this. If only I had money, then I'd be doing what I want. So you'd be taking the actions of what you want and then you'd be happy, okay? If only I had a family, then I would be taking, I would be, you know, living in a house and then I would be fulfilled. If only I had a spouse, okay? If only I had a spouse and then, uh, you know, we, I had money, I would, be, uh, I would be in a relationship, dating, doing all those things, and then I'd be excited, happy, fulfilled, okay? All right, what is the problem with the scenario? It's not how the world works. It's not how we're designed. Because you're doing it this way, it'll never happen. <laughs> it will never happen. So how most people are is if only had this, then I'd be doing this, then I would be that. So people are focused on the result versus the process that it takes to become successful. So let's talk about what is the process to actually achieve and have whatever you want in life. So those of you that wanna become senior vice presidents, we're gonna talk about that specifically tonight. You can apply this to any of your life, but this is a specifically, obviously I'm gonna apply it to ACF, okay? So if it's be, do, have, right? This is the way the universe works. These are called the three domains of being. To achieve results in life, first, it's who are you being will give you the actions that you take and therefore the results that you have, okay? That's the formula. The problem is most people, again, let's go back to human being, don't understand what that means, okay? Now, whether you understand this or not, doesn't matter. What matters is this is the way that it actually flows, okay? So even if you're not present to this, your life is still going that way. The problem is you don't know who you're being. You have no idea. You're totally oblivious to who you're being. And therefore, you're looking at your results and you're like, what's happening with the results? So let me give you guys an example. If you're being a victim in life and you don't realize you're be being a victim in life, right? What do you think is gonna happen? Well, are you gonna take victims that an action a victim takes? What kind of actions do victim takes? Well, they blame, they don't take responsibility, they don't have confidence, they don't have belief, 
They don't go talk to people. Why? Because they're victims. And then they're going to have results of a victim. What are the results of a victim? No success. They're stuck. That's what happens, right? And they wonder why they're stuck. And then the mistake they make is like, okay, let me go redo my actions. Let me go fix my actions. Maybe if I changed my actions, then maybe my results will transform. No, because who you're being, if you're still being a victim and you're trying to change the actions that you're taking, guess what's gonna change? Nothing. The results will ex be exactly the same. So how many of you, be honest, right? How many of you are, are stuck in a rut? Like you feel like you're going in a circle, even though you're trying to follow the system, right? Like, you know, the system is great. You see other people having success with it, but you might be stuck. And the reason why you're stuck is you're oblivious to and can't see, which is, by the way, most people, because school does not exactly teach you this, because <laughs> this is the study of ontology. Write that down. The study of ontology, which is the study of human being. Okay? Now, if you are cognizant of, present to, and understanding who you're being, then you could understand that, hey, I can change it. I can be, I can, God gave us all the ability to be anybody you want to be. Think about that. God gave us the ability to, to have infinite ways of being. You can be any way at all. You can be joyous and powerful and excited and communicative and a wealth builder. You could be any way at all that you want. There are infinite ways of being. Okay, think about that. There's infinite, I love that, that we can have infinite ways of being. Now, let's go back and look at this. The problem is most people don't consciously create ways of being. There's uh, human beings for 99% of us, the default way of being is negative. What does that mean negative? A victim, a saboteur, I'm not good enough, I'm a loser, nobody loves me. Those are default ways of being. Why? We adopt them as when we're young. We listen to television. Everything's negative. We have negative people around us. So for most people, it's very rare. They're an empowering, nurturing, positive environment. So for most people, the default ways of being are negative. Now, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you know that, right? So like my default way of being, let me give you my default way of being. My default way of being is I don't matter. I'm not important. Try being a senior vice president. If you believe you don't matter, <laughs> you're not important and go change some lives. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. No, there is no chance whatsoever that I'm going to make any impact on anybody's life if I don't matter. I'm not important. So I recognize that. That's my default way of being. Great. What's the opportunity? The opportunity is to bypass that and to create whatever way of being I want. Because I have the power and the ability in the moment, right now, to create whatever way of being I want. That's the power, that's the power that every human being has. But first, you gotta understand and recognize that there's a default way that you have that's giving you the results that you have. Does it even matter what it is? No, it doesn't even matter what it is. The way you find it is by working backwards. How I found mine is if I look at my results, right? I look at my results. I said, okay, what kind, of per what kind of actions give those results? I look at my actions and I say, okay, what kind of person takes those actions? <laughs> what kind of person or way of being takes those actions? So for example, uh, I'll tell you how I found it. When I discovered it in my 20s, every company I touched failed in my 20s. I'm like, wow. And then I looked at my actions and I would start a company and I would make somebody else the president. Wow, Why would I, who would make somebody else the president? Well, somebody who doesn't think they matter or is important. And that's how I saw mine. And so, of course, every company is going to fail. Why? Because when I started the company, it was my vision. It was what I saw. Well, why the heck would I have somebody else become the CEO? Well, what are they going to do? Destroy it because they don't have my vision or passion for what I just built. Of course, it makes no sense. That's why my first three companies all failed. I didn't see this about myself. And every company, so 
you know, what's that old saying? Wherever, wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> wherever you go, there you are. And that's the same thing, whether it's in ACN or anywhere else. And so how you discover your default is results. Look at your results. Your results will tell you what action, look at the actions you've been taking to get those results. What kind of person creates those? This is where you, you got to be absolutely honest and straight with yourself. Okay. And discover that for you. Now, if you don't even see it, don't worry about it. Well, you want to go into creation mode, right? The way human beings are designed. Let me go back and start something new here, a new page. The way we're designed is for us to be able to, to be whatever we want to be and create whatever we want to create. Okay. So I'm sure all of you are on here because you want to be senior vice president. Okay. So if you look at the top leaders in your team, guys, just look at, you know, Patrick and Michael Mazur's number one senior vice presidents for decade. <laughs> if you look at the top leaders in your team, a lot of your, all your top producers, right? Your circle of champions members like, like Jeff Street, Melissa Street, MD Rahman, look at your top leader, your top producers like Mr. Harsh. So look at them all. If I was to ask you, who are they being? Who are they being? What would you say? Okay. Now, can I get, let's see if I can see the chat from here. I don't think I can see the chat. No. I can't see the chat. Okay. But I want some answers. Okay. If you guys can give me some answers in the chat, I'm going to stop sharing just for a second and then I'll come back to it. Okay. So if I were to say, there you go, the chat's back. Okay. So if I were to say, guys, what ways of being or who are they being? If you were to look at them and say, wow, they're being this way. What's the first thing that comes? Champions, servant, leaders, very good, growth minded, positive, encouraging, kings. I love it. More guys, write some more. Rock stars, keep writing, successful, phenomenal humans, life changers, love those, okay? Who are they being? When you look at them and they talk to you and you see them, well, who are they being? Adaptive to change, humble, focused, very good, unstoppable, fearless. This is perfect. It's all in the chat so you guys can see it all. Confident, caring, love it. heroes. I love it, guys. So you can see there's infinite ways. Life coach to mentors, loving. So that's, yeah, powerful that is, guys. That's so extraordinary. Change agents, tunnel vision minded, love it mentors, family. So here's what you want to do. Like we have so many guys, like we, we could, we could be, literally be doing this all night for the next hour, writing down all the ways of being that you see from them. So here's how this is going to be powerful for you. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you of all the ones everybody wrote down, steal 10 for yourself. I want you to steal 10 of those for yourself, the 10 that call to you most. And if it's not even on there, it's okay. Maybe like, like somebody just wrote, Mark just wrote, hey, Mark Bonin's here. Mark, love you, man. He wrote Dream Catchers. I love that one. Dream Catchers. That's a good one. Okay? Non-negotiable. So I want you to write your 10 for yourself. Just write them down right now. So everybody write down your top 10. What are your top 10 ways of being that you want to steal, that you see when you see Patrick and Michael Mazur and the top leaders uh, senior vice president, circle of champions, like, it's like, oh, that's what I want. That's what your, that's what your goal is. Write those down as ways of being, write those down. Unstoppable. I like that one, Monica on Un the completely unstoppable. Nothing gets in their way. Resourceful, right? Passionate. You know, there's so many things, so many stuff. So everybody write down your top 10. Okay. And then when you wrote down your top 10, when you've written those down, uh, just say you're right down done or raise your hand. So I just know what we're doing. Okay. Just take a few minutes guys right now to do that. Cause it's a very important part of the exercise. I'm going to tell you what to do with those 10 things. Purpose driven. Love that. A blessing to many. So write down all the things, top 10 for yourself. You can go through the chat here and look at all those, or you can create your own coachable, obviously powerful leaders. Uh, they're all those things, all those links. So, so as a way, they're ways of being. Okay. Loving, solution oriented, love it. So many great things. So write down your top 10.
This could be the most important exercise you ever do in your life, guys. When I learned this, when I studied this, that putting this together with the system is what had me explode because the system by itself is powerful, but who's the vehicle driving the system? You are. So imagine if you're being a victim in life, trying to implement the system, all you're going to achieve is get victim results, right? Does that make sense? It makes sense, right? If you're being powerful and you're implementing the system, what are you going to have? Probably breakthrough results. You're going to have results that are off the chart. So this is the key here, guys. The key is what are the top 10 things that you're doing? Okay, so Valentino wrote winner, goal seller, visionary. I love visionary. That's great. So a lot of you guys are writing. If you guys want to write your 10 down on here too, write them all down on the chat, your 10. That's great too. So you can share them with all of us. That'd be very, very powerful. High energy, intentional, all that stuff, right? So whatever your top 10 are, feel free to write them all down. The top 10 that you picked that you're going to be working with when I, when I, when we get into it right now, and it's in a minute or two. Okay. Committed. Love that one. It's a good one, Charlene. Committed. Great. Excellent. So if you want to write all your 10 down, just type them into the chat box, your 10. We don't need everybody to, but a few of you write all your full 10 in. That'd be great. So you can see what you picked. Awesome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take those 10 and we're going to show you how we're going to a, implement those, what there is to do and how we can let go of that default way of being that's in the background of your mind that's going to be there to stop you and to hold you from achieving success. Okay. Because if you think about it, guys, the only person that's going to stop you from being successful is you. The system is killer. Okay. The system is killer. The system is not the problem. Okay. The system is dead on. Don't even question. By the way, guess who's going to have you question the system, your default way of being, <laughs> right? Because if you're being a victim, for example, in life, or I'm not good enough or whatever, it's going to have you doubt that very thing that's going to make you successful, which is the system. Okay. Very good. Mentor, God sent, loving, unstoppable, humbling, humble, coaching, unwavering, focused, disciplined, caring, patient. Love it. Great. Christ-centered, servant's heart, giving, passionate, resourceful, brave. Love it, guys. Disciplined and committed. Fearless, unstoppable, provider, help, helpful coach. A dream, dream stealer. Ooh, dream stealer. Whose dreams are you stealing? <laughs> dream exchange agents. Non-negotiable, unstoppable, resourceful, passionate, mentor, giving, other center. Love it, guys. This is fantastic stuff. These guys are, guys are great. This is great stuff. My God, this is such amazing, amazing stuff. Influential, caring, level, visionary, intentional, fearless, mentor, resilient, love it, purpose driven. All right, guys, very, very good. This is, this is the guys, I got to tell you, I am blown away. Look at this one encouraging, confident, servant. Uh, this is fantastic stuff. Fantastic. All right, so here's what I want you to do, okay? I want you to look at your list and put a, an, an order of them, put a one to 10, right? One, two, three, whichever one calls you the most to the one that calls you the least. This doesn't mean they're not any more important than the other. I just, in your own heart, in your own soul, which one calls you the most, put that a one, next one, two, next one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 10. So do that now, okay? In the order that they call to you, just put a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, very good. Now, here's what I want you to do, okay? You're gonna take your top three, okay? Your top three, and this week, you're gonna be them. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So for example, let's say you took on, uh, here's Luis, okay? So let's say Luis, you took on leader, humble, and courageous. Great. So here's how I want you to write this down. There's a particular way I want you to write this down, okay? So, and then you're gonna say it, declare it, 
and then we're going to put it into practice. Okay. Here's how I want you to say it. Who I am, who I am is the possibility of being a blank, blank, blank. Who I am is the possibility of being a leader, being humble, being courageous. Who I am is the possibility of that. Like for me this week, what well, mine is this week is who I am is the possibility of acknowledgement, wealth, and partnership. Those are my three this week, okay? So each week I take on three of them and I live from those three ways of being. You can have more, you can have two, you can have one, you can have five, it doesn't matter. I just find three is a good number. All three of them get me excited. And then I plaster it everywhere. So who I am is the possibility of like acknowledgement, wealth, and partnership. Those are my three. It's on my phone, okay? It's on my computer. It's on, a, on, on my whiteboard. It is everywhere. So wherever I go, whoever I'm talking to, that's where I'm coming from. Because by the way, remember what I said before, if I wasn't, what would I be coming from? Who I am is, I don't matter. I'm not important. <laughs> that's where I'd be coming from. Anybody want to come from that spot? No, that's your default way of being. Okay. Each of us have a default way of being. Okay. So where you want to come from is where you're creating yourself to come from. So if you're creating yourself to come from, from there in every interaction, now here's the problem. Okay. When you first start doing it, you're going to notice where you're not being that that's okay. It's not wrong. It's not bad. All it's showing you is the gap that you have to fulfill the gap that you have to put in. So for example, let's say you did pick, being humble, being leader, and being courageous. The first thing you're going to see is where you're not being that. That's good because where you can see where you're not being that is where you go actually apply it. That's where you actually go be it. Okay. So don't make yourself wrong or beat yourself up because you don't see that. That's perfectly fine. Perfectly normal. You're supposed to notice it because now you're becoming self-aware. So let me tell you what self-awareness is, okay? Because a lot of people don't understand what the word self-aware means. Self-aware means you can actually are aware of your actual self. What is your actual self? Who you're being. That's what it is. Self-awareness is you are able to see who you're being and then create intentionally who you want to be. That's how it works. Isn't that great? I remember, I'll never forget when I learned this, I literally, I took a course where I learned this and what I instantly did right after I learned it, my company went from one employee to 300 employees in uh, 24 months. <laughs> cause I started to apply this cause I stopped, I stopped, I stopped sabotaging myself and ruining everything I was touching. And then I was intentionally creating things. See, when I got into ACN, I knew this. I didn't understand the system. I didn't know there's a system. So when you can take both together, SVP is just around the corner. It's right there. Because the reason why people don't go SCP or don't go RVP, it's not because of the system, it's because we implode. <laughs> we stop ourselves. We sabotage ourselves. That's what we do. Isn't that crazy? Okay. So I want to stop there and I want to open up. I don't know if we can open up the call and people can ask questions or not. If not, they, maybe they can ask a question. Anybody has any questions you want to ask or what you're getting, what you've seen from this, what you're realizing, uh, what's occurring for you. We got a few minutes where we can do that right now. So who'd like to go first and maybe uh, ask, it's unmuted, perfect. So some of you guys who want to ask a question, you're more than welcome to ask a question, put your hand up or something and I can pick you. Uh, anybody want to ask a question or uh, talk about what you learned from this, what you saw, more importantly, what you observed about yourself. We'd like to go first. Hey, Franco, this is Robin calling. Hey, I have a question Robin. For you. Hi. Do you think it's possible to be um, being, for your being to be different given the circumstances? Meaning like as an athlete, um, I was unstoppable. That was my belief system. Nobody can get me, nobody can catch me, nobody... I'm the best. You know what right. I mean? That was my mindset. But then when it comes to translating that into this business, my default is not that. So do you find that it's possible to have like two different uh, default mechanisms? 
You can. Here's what happens, right? So let's say you're you're an incredible athlete, naturally gifted, right? Let's say you're a naturally gifted af- athlete. Well, there's nothing for you to work on, because if you're just naturally gifted and you're just being naturally gifted, then there's nothing for your brain doesn't even have to kick in, right? Because you're just already better than everybody else. You're already just having success. It makes no difference. Where it matters is where now you have to go create something where your natural gifts don't matter, <laughs> right? Make sense? So right now your natural gifts make no difference here. It's about you need to go create what your results are going to be. And now your default kicks in and it stops you, obviously, or sabotage, whatever it's going to do to you versus now you get to create. Teach. All right. You got it? <laughs> I got it. Great, great question. That was awesome. Good job. Anyone else? Who's next? What have you observed? What did you listen? What did you hear in this conversation? What did you see? <clears throat> Franco, this is Elena. Hi. Hey, Elena. Go ahead. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Good. Better with you here. So, so thankful. So what you mean is creating a new self with when you go into the creative mode? Yeah, you can call it that. You can create, you actually are, you are literally creating your higher self by, by determining who you're going to be, right? Because your being determines all how you occur to people, right? Because think about it, if you're being loving and generous right. and humble, how are you going to occur to people? Humble, generous, and loving. Because here's what I always tell them. There is no real you. There is no real you. There's only the you that you're creating in the moment. And by the way, the you you're creating in the moment is what will come back to you from other people. So I look at people as a mirror. So if all of a sudden one day people are being mean to me, I'm like, Oh my God, who am I being that people are being mean to me? What the heck is going on? What am I creating in my reality and in my world? Because to me, people are just a reflection of myself. So I said, okay, my being's off. Who am I being? Oh, I'm being this way. So however the world is <clears throat> will always tell you who you're being. And that's creating who the self is. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Gloria. Uh, so I, as, as I see this, I, first of all, it's powerful. Thank you so much. It's, it's amazing. So when I look at this and I'm saying, okay, so what you're saying is as we're implementing these uh, these positive changes, which really is, I believe, how we were created to be in the first place, correct? Correct. Isn't it like we're pulling out what is in us, the deep within us, and as we pull that out and as we become that, then our team is going to be the same way. So as we change, obviously we have to have that positive change on our team. So as we do these things, they're going to be the same way. And if they're not, they'll fall off, right? Very, that's a great insight, Gloria. Great insight. So listen to what she said, right? If you're going to start creating these ways of being, then what are you going to start doing? Attracting people with similar ways of being, right? Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. think about it. If any of you have a bunch of team, a bunch of people on your team, they're all victims complaining and yelling and all that stuff. Well, guess where it started? <laughs> guess where mentally it started, right? <laughs> right? So what there is for you to do is say, okay, I, your team is always a reflection of who? Yourself. Right, exactly. Very good. So if you start being on this way, you're going to start now attracting those people. You know, we have a saying in ACN. The people that got you to RD are not the people that get you to RVP, and they're not the people that get you to SVP. Wow. Now, why do we have that saying? Because along the way, you're growing. Mm-hmm. Along the way, you're taking on newer and more powerful ways of being. So you're going to attract a whole new group of people. And those are the ones that ultimately get the success. So when you're ready to go, when you're being an SVP, when you're being Patrick and Michael Mason, not like copying them, but being that, right? When you're being that, then those leaders that will go regional vice president and regional Stop. director start entering your team. Stop. Awesome. It's great. <laughs> great. Awesome. Who else? First of all, I thank you so much for your training. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, man. Your, your training was so powerful and um, I saw myself all over this um, even this evening because, um, you know, I, sometimes you look at somebody like I could look at Mr. Michael Mays or Mr. Patrick Mazer and I say, you know what, I'm doing the same actions that they're doing. I wake up the time they wake up. I, 
I watch Miss Shayla Smith, I book my calendar, but I don't get the results as she, that's because I'm changing the action, but I'm not addressing the, the, the who I'm being, you know, and um, that just came out to me very profound and I just want to appreciate you and thank you for that. Great, Ron. What did you pick? What were your ways of being that you picked? Um, well, um, for my top three or... Yeah, top three. What are your top three? My top three is um, who I am is the possibility of being driven, productive, and fearless. Wow. You just gave me goosebumps. You guys get goosebumps? I just got goosebumps when Ron said that. That is awesome, man. That is awesome. And put it everywhere. And by the way, share it with people. The more you share that, the more real it becomes, right? Because here's what happens when you share it people then start listening to you that way. Because guess how most people listen to you right now from your default way of being. So you wanna create a world, you see, when, you're, when you get to be a senior vice president, people listen to us as a senior vice president. What does that mean? The ways of being that are a senior vice president. That's how people listen to us. And so you want people to listen to you from the ways of being you've created not your default ones, because then that creates this energy around you, this world around you, powerful people coming in, people talking great things about you. Wow, that Roel guy, man, he's unbelievable. I don't know what he's got, but man, I want whatever that is. That's what they're going to be talking about. And that's what they're going to be saying when you're intentionally creating who you are. Thank you. Awesome. Really great. Who else? Frankly, thank you for the amazing training, Georgina. Hey, Laguna. Georgina, how are you? How are you? We miss Good. you. You came to Laguna Beach. You didn't call me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sure. I just want to say thank you so much. It was amazing and very powerful. Thank you. What was the biggest thing you got, Georgina, for yourself? Um, don't complain. <laughs> okay, because what's the default of that? Like, what, who complains, right? Who, what kind of be, way of I being? I complain. Yeah, and, but what kind of, first think about that. So the action is complaining, which gives you the results that you have, right? Yes. What kind of person would complain? Negative person. A negative person, very good. Uh, a victim. A victim, exactly. So you got, that's the key. The key is to see and look at who am I being that I've created this action. That's what gets created. Yes. Thank awesome. you. Great insight. Very, very powerful. Great job. Who else? Franco, Franco powerful brother. Derek, Pastor Derek Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love you, bro. Love powerful, you. man. Powerful. What's the biggest thing you got, Derek? Franco, just the whole exercise with looking at what you see, right? Uh -huh. Their characteristics. And then having you having us write them down and then really working on you becoming what you see you've written down. And then when you take the first three and mine happen to be excited, encouraging and committed. Wow. Right. Okay. And then you take those three and you, you live those three. And when you live those three, you'll attract that back with, it's powerful, man. Thank you, Franco. Appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Now, Derek, I want you to repeat after me, okay? And, and tell me how you feel. And this goes to everybody, okay? So I'm talking to Derek, but I'm talking to all of you, okay? I want you to repeat after me when I say this. Who I am is the possibility of. Who I am is the possibility of. Excitement. Excitement. Completely unstoppable and Ooh, fearless. Oh. Very good. Okay, so he went ahead, went ahead of me. <laughs> okay, right. that was awesome. <laughs> so say all three. Who I am is the possibility of, and say your three, okay? Who I am is the possibility of being excited, encouraging, and committed. Very good. That's a matter. How do you feel when you say that, that way? <laughs> Mr. Wilson, I feel empowered. You... I yeah. feel bold, and I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like a champion. Yeah, very good. Now go Can I just... Can I just say that, Mr. Wilson, you definitely are that already. You wow. just need, he really is. I, I have to say that. Now here's a, here, Gloria, now to your point, if we go, imagine that's how we introduce ourselves to each other. Hi, I am the possibility of encouragement, excitement, leadership. Hi, I'm the possibility. <laughs> what if you, and then people listen to you guys that way. Wouldn't that be great? Hi, I'm John. Hi, who cares, right? Hi, I'm Mary. Hi, I'm Bob. Good. Congratulations. That's your name. But who are you? So imagine that we can actually introduce 
ourselves to each other from who we from who we're creating ourselves to be yes. how much more different would that be i think i'm going to adopt that and start doing that from now on people are going to think i'm crazy but that's exactly <laughs> it's i think the people will be inspired especially in today's world oh my god people will be very inspired yeah. Thank, you, Thank you very much for the training. Uh, the first thing is, it, it was so powerful because I, I want to be this fearless person, but I feel like if you're fearless or you're powerful, you'll detract people, you'll push people away from you. But you let it known tonight that those are the people that you don't want around you. And it's okay to be powerful because you will attract powerful people. And I think that was always the fear. I was scared of being my natural self because some people didn't understand it. Well, it, you've made it known tonight that those are the people that we don't need in our circle. We don't want in our circle. And it's okay to be powerful because powerful people will recognize it. So I just really appreciate just hearing that tonight because I, that was powerful. And it came from a powerful person from someone that I would like to be around and be myself. I wanna be bold enough to say, I'm powerful. What's wrong with that? I'm deserving, what's wrong with that? And it's always been a very hush hush conversation or I don't say that but I am deserving or I wouldn't be working for these things. So just to hear it from someone else tonight, just affirmed what I know I have the possibility of being. That's making, that was brilliant. Oh my God. So she said a couple of things that I want to highlight because what she said was absolutely genius. So first of all, I went, first of all, uh, um, by the way, guys, one a little bit of coaching for everybody, never say less like fearless or was well, something less, right? Say what the opposite of that is. So the opposite of fearless is courageous. So use the positive of whatever that is. It empowers you more, okay? So always put that in. Just remember that when you guys are creating the, the way of being you want to take on. That's number one. But number two, she said something really interesting. And, and Nikki, I had your problem because I was like you. Because sometimes we don't want to be too powerful because we don't want people to feel uncomfortable around us, right? Like we want people want to fit in and not let them, well, you know, I don't want to shine too much and, you know, all that. I get it, right? Then I had a coach. You know what he said to me? He says, Franco, don't you dare ever mute who you are and your power for anybody. Don't you dare. And here's what he, why he said that. He said, look, you want to be the example for what's possible, not the example of su suppressing yourself to keeping people small. Because all you're doing by doing that is keeping people small. And that hit me like a ton of bricks. Go, oh my God, I've been muting my star, my light, who I am, but I'm, the result is I'm keeping them small. I'm not helping them. I'm not doing anything good because how, how are people around you going to grow? Well, if you're growing, right? If, you're, if your star is shining, and I can already tell, Nick, you got a lot of power. Man, let that power out, baby. Let it out because that people around you are going to be blown away and inspired by who you are. And then, then, they, then they've got a choice, right? They can step up and come into that, to that light, or they can go back. But that's their choice. It has nothing to do with you. That was awesome. Thank you so very much. You're a great job. Yeah, that was great. Okay, we got time for one more person. Oh, Franco. Thank you. Yes. I'd love to share. I'll go ahead. Okay, we got two. We heard two people. So I heard fabulous Camille. <laughs> heard that. And then the other, uh, who's the other one? Dave? Yes. Franco. Okay, good. Fabulous Camille, you go first. Oh my God. It's so good to see you, Mr. Franco. And you are, as always, very powerful. So who I am is the possibility of being a servant leader, a visionary, and a powerful woman. That's who wow. I am. Wow. Woo. Hold on. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was awesome. You've always say what's on your mind, and that, that was very attractive to me. You always speak that was on your mind. And today, you bring it, and you just let us have it. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. And if I don't, then I'm not helping you or providing a service for you. So I appreciate that. And thank you for recognizing that. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, awesome. Dave, you're up. Thank you very much for this. This has been amazing and very powerful. Um, each week learning this process is, is teaching that we can be the change. And I'm excited about the change. I'm an excited guy anyways. <laughs> but this is what I've learned. I've become more excited. I feel like a teenager about the possibilities of the growth, the learning. And I'm okay with the process, but the excitement of the learning, like what you shared is just, I'm going to write it everywhere because the growth is the biggest aspect of anything 
that we do. And this has been incredibly powerful. It just amplifies what we have, who we have, and what we will be. Dave, that was amazing. That was so powerful. I just want to highlight something that he said. You know, the journey is great. Like getting to SVP is great, but getting there is, I got to tell you, funner. <laughs> it really is. Obviously, when you get to SVP, it is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It is huge. It is great. The financial impact, the impact you have on people, but enjoy and fall in love with the journey getting there. What do I mean by that? Like, like you get to take on infinite ways of being. You get to take on ways of being however that empower you that excite you each and every day so when you wake up out of bed in the morning you get to say how you live your day you get to say how you're going to live every minute every hour like right now think about this right now you can choose who to be i choose to be happy when right now you have that power those of you who are miserable right now do me a favor stop it just right now be happy smile oh look you did it <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Right now, you have that power in the moment to shift. Whatever is happening in your life doesn't matter. Because here's the one thing that we all have that no one can take away from us. Who you choose to be. Regardless of your environment, regardless of what's happening around you, guess what you choose? Who you choose to be. And no one can take that away from you. Isn't that great? Chills. That's the fun part of life. That is the journey that we're all on, and that's what we get to create. So what I'm excited about now is I want to see those of you now that are going to explode to regional director and regional vice president and senior vice president, who are going to be our next champions, our future leaders that are going to help transform this company into the largest direct sales company in the world and one of, maybe even one of the biggest companies in the world. We'll see. Anything's possible with the ACN owners, with the leaders that you guys have, and, and the system that ACN hasn't put in place. Anything has happened is possible that can happen. Now it's up to us to make that happen. So guys, it was my pleasure to be on. I love you. I can't wait to see you all and see what happens. I can't wait till we're all together actually in a room and give each other hugs and forget about the masks and everything else, right? That'd be pretty cool. I love you guys. Have a great night. Uh, I don't know if I'm turning it over to Patrick. I know I'm turning it over to, but uh, love you guys and have a good night. Franco, thank you so very much on behalf of everybody. You know, my phone's blowing up, the chat's blowing up. I mean, you talk about a difference maker. Uh, you truly are uh, for all of us here tonight. And I speak on behalf of all 200 plus people that stuck around to the very end uh, to get as much as they could from you. And uh, we so, so, so much appreciate uh, your leadership and who you are and what you mean to all of us here tonight. Can we give Franco a round of applause? Let's show him our appreciation, our love, our gratitude. Uh, I know there's a lot of uh, lives that are impacted today. I know there's a lot of people uh, that are gonna leave here uh, just tremendously better before you got a chance to be on here. So thank you for all that you do, Franco. And uh, we're so excited about our future together and creating ACN to be the largest company of its type in the world. And I know we can uh, with people like you in our life. So thanks again for being on here and taking your precious, precious time uh, to share with all of us. Love you guys. And, and how many of us wish we had more people on here tonight? Right? I mean, you know, this is what we do. This is how we're going to take this 20,000 reps a month and and turn that into a reality is getting people on here because it's only through people experiencing what you and I have experienced are we going to be able to go to heights that we're not at right now and you know uh, uh, next week uh, this is going to be the week of our national convention uh, so you probably are aware the 26th day of September uh, is going to be an ACN virtual national convention and you're going to get a chance to hear from individuals just like franco and you're going to get a chance to have your people learn from the co-founders of acn and be part of the excitement uh, of the acn opportunity so make sure that you're promoting all week long that this upcoming saturday uh, is going to be the saturday of all saturdays that's the 26th day of september and what we've done to really make uh, this a very special weekend is we've requested a co-founder, Mr. Robert Stefanowski, uh, to be on our call next Friday night. 
So you're going to get an opportunity to uh, get a chance to be in the head of one of the co-founders, uh, an individual that started this company uh, that has created what we're all experiencing today. And he's going to be spending the evening with this team. And now think about it. It's the night before an international convention. Obviously, there's a thousand things that they have to do. There's so much stuff that needs to be done, but he wanted to be on this call with each and every one of you. And so just know that that isn't by accident. You know, that's by design, meaning this is a team of people that are making a difference. And uh, Melissa, I don't know if you have a slide to throw up, but I just wanted guys to, to make sure that you're promoting this upcoming Friday night, uh, using everything that we learned from Franco, everything that we learned uh, from Mr. George, everything that we learned from each and every trainer uh, that we've had an opportunity to get to know every single Friday night. And, you know, I, I, I can't even uh, express the gratitude that I have for this technology, that we can all be together from one side of the country to the other, to Australia that's on here tonight, to the United Kingdom that's on here tonight, to every city and every state that's being represented on here tonight, uh, even into Latin and South America that's on here tonight. We've got people in multiple countries on here tonight, and we're all doing the same thing, uh, which is becoming a better version of us. And I wanna also uh, wish all of our Jewish brothers and sisters uh, tonight, Happy New Year. Uh, we wanna you know, let them know that we're thinking of them uh, during their very special, special holiday. Uh, and I think it's just appropriate especially now with having so much to be grateful for and so many people in the world that are confused and so many people are going to bed tonight with anxiety, with uncertainty. They're not going to bed like we are powerful. They're not going to bed like we are visionaries. They're going to bed with a lot of fear. And we know that's not the case. And I believe in order for us to uh, really end the evening here tonight, uh, ask uh, Ken and Susie Potter, uh, if they would, just to say a prayer of gratitude for all of us, to keep us all protected, and to continue to allow for us to grow as we have week after week after week here on a Friday night uh, trainings. There's no place I'd rather be than with all of you on a Friday night. So Ken and Susie, thank you for all you do, and I'll turn the call over to you. Thank you, Patrick. What an amazing night tonight. And uh, let's, uh, we'll wrap up with prayer. Father God, we start tonight and end tonight just in humility and gratitude that before the, the world was created, you knew that we would cross paths tonight on this amazing uh, Zoom call that, would, so, that the leaders that you handpicked to be on the call tonight or this opportunity, Mr. LaFranco, just sharing the wisdom that he just shared with us, Lord, and just impacting every single person on this line. We're so grateful. The transformation, the, remind, the reminder that the transformation happens in our minds. And we know that your word says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but let God transform us by changing the way we think. And tonight, Lord, we're, our, our thoughts were transformed. And as Patrick said, Lord, tonight, uh, for our Jewish brothers and sisters, it's, their, it, it's the first day of their new year. And new year is always a rebirth. And Lord, we ask that we can come alongside them and that tonight is our rebirth in ACN. That going forward into the convention next week, that today is the first day of our new year in ACN. You reminded us tonight that, that you made us in your image and you are a creator. So you made us in your image. So help us to remember that as we go through the things that, that uh, Franco talked about tonight to be able to create our future as it goes forward. And Lord, we know that before tonight, that a lot of us, we would doubt our beliefs and believe our doubts. But today, starting going forward, Lord, help us to believe our beliefs and to act in those beliefs. And our belief, Father, is 20,000 representatives a month will come from the people on this team. We're so grateful for tonight. And with that, we're just going to wrap up, Lord. And everybody said, 
Amen. 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 And sweet new year to everybody. <laughs> what, what an amazing night, everybody. And I'm sure all of you uh, got a tremendous amount out of uh, the evening. Uh, would you please make sure uh, you go to our Facebook page, ACN Rockstar Team, uh, and leave a comment. Leave, leave one of your you know, powerful words so that people that didn't get a chance to be on here tonight uh, are affected by each and every one of us, knowing that we're not done becoming the people that uh, we are going to become in order to be not only senior vice presidents, but global difference makers. And so I want to thank the leadership that put this all together. Melissa, thank you for all that you do. Melissa Street, she's been a tremendous asset to all of us here. And we thank her for continuing to uh, just make these uh, better and better and better. How many of us would agree we're getting better week to week? Man, I'll tell you, we are getting better week to week. So uh, with that being said, Mike, I don't know if there's anything you want to add. Uh, but if anybody else uh, has something they want to say before we jump off, this concludes the formal part of our training tonight. And if somebody has something they want